What is a feedback mechanism? The process of feedback mechanism is very, very simple. Our body remains in a normal state, but how it maintains the normal state is really interesting. What happens is sometimes our body realizes that there is a need for increase in secretions. So what would happen? A signal would go to the respective gland to increase the secretions. Now, once the secretion increases, the, the levels that had fallen below in the blood would increase and we would attain a normal position. But what happens if these secretions continue? If these secretions would continue, there can be over secretion. So there is a negative feedback mechanism that automatically controls that now there is no more need to release the secretion. We should stop the secretion. So the idea is the end product that is received is regulated. So we are trying to regulate the end product. Now. This process of regulating the end product occurs in two ways. One is the positive feedback. Positive feedback is a feedback when we are increasing the secretions to reach their exact level in the blood. However, when the secretions are too much, what we need to do is we need to have a negative feedback. We need to reduce the secretions and this reduction in the secretion in order to come back to normal NC would be called as a negative feedback. Now this might appear a little confusing. So we have a very simple example from our daily cooking life. What happens? Let's say I am preparing a dish today, but I forgot to add salt to it. Now I serve you the dish. You might say, oh, everything looks fine, but there is no salt. Now this is a positive feedback. Why? Because I have the chance to add the salt. So what I do is I add the salt, I serve you again and you enjoy the dish. But let's take another example. In this example, I by mistake put the salt, let's say twice or thrice, consider it three times. So my salt level in the food is three times and it should be. Now what would happen? The only thing is it is not at all, uh, not at all good for health, we can say. So the only way to neutralize it, definitely I need to neutralize, otherwise this won't be useful. So the only way to neutralize is probably I'll add more water or more of other ingredients in order to reduce the amount of salt. And this is what is a negative feedback. So with the same example of salt, we understood a case of positive uh, feedback, where in the first case, we forgot to add the salt and we were able to add the salt. However, with the same example, we understood an example of negative feedback where the salt levels were already high. So we needed to reduce the amount of salt levels and that is the negative feedback. Now, let's come to our body organs. So we will talk about two simple endocrine glands. One is pancreas, the other is th uh, thyroid. Both of those, how this feedback mechanism would work. Now, what happens with pancreas? Pancreas releases insulin, correct? What is the function of insulin? The function of insulin is to control or I can say absorb more of blood sugar. So the idea is uh, the blood glucose level or the sugar levels should be maintained. Now, let's say if I consume lot of cakes, lot of pastries, lots of chocolates, lots of sweets, what would happen? My blood sugar levels would suddenly go up. Now, as soon as my blood sugar levels goes up, they can go up to a level that they can damage the blood vessels. There can be uh, blood not reaching certain parts of the cells and there can be significant impact on the body because of it. So immediately, pancreas are asked to release insulin. As soon as pancreas release insulin, they start to control the level of the blood sugar or we say the glucose is converted to glycogen. So the process of conversion of glucose to glycogen starts. Now with this process
process what would happen my blood sugar levels would go down and would come towards normal but if they keep dropping what would happen there should be a point where the signal should go back to the pancreas and what is the signal my blood levels my blood sugar levels are down stop secreting insulin so as soon as this negative feedback goes the pancreas would stop secreting insulin now the insulin secretion would have stopped so the amount of blood glucose which is being controlled would reduce and the falling blood sugar levels would again reduce so our body is able to maintain a normal blood sugar level so that is how the feedback mechanisms occur mostly when we say this feedback mechanism occurs when we have to do a negative feedback we want to control the secretions and there is where most of the utility of these secretions work the next good example is thyroid gland now where does the thyroid gets the signal from definitely true thyroid gets the signal from pituitary now pituitary is a pea sized lobe located in the brain this pea sized lobe which is a master gland sends the signal to whom sends the signal to thyroid gland so here we have the thyroid gland the two lobes of the thyroid gland and the isthmus that joins the thyroid gland we have understood about this more in detail on the lesson on thyroid now this thyroid gland releases what we know well two important products thyroxine and calcitonin we are focusing on thyroxine right now so pituitary sends the signal to thyroid which is to release tsh rh which is thyroxine stimulating hormone release hormone now this tsh is released by the thyroxine thyroid as thyroxine now this thyroxine level as soon as the thyroxine level increases what would happen the metabolism in the body would start to increase now as soon as the metabolism increases the brain would check that there should not be too much metabolism if the metabolism increases too much then it would again be problematic so what we need to do is this metabolism would keep on rising but at a point it would send the signal back to brain that the metabolism at its is at its peak now stop metabolizing so pituitary would send a signal to thyroid stop secreting tsh tsh thyroxine which is released here the release would stop and finally the uh, release would stop and metabolism would stop